Welcome to Julie the Thrifty Designer. Today, I thought I would show you how to make a patio area in your yard when you really don't have a patio. A nice, sweet little sitting area. Now, I have already had my son move the heavy things for me here, and so I can decorate them the best that I can. And so I am going to show you I have two park benches. They're very old. I've had them for a long time. They were in different areas of the yard. They were never sat on, never enjoyed. And so I decided to move them here. And I have a little kind of a grotto type of area here. Um, and I'm trying to go for an old world look, Italian. They would do a lot of religious art where I'm really not choosing to do religious art. I'm just going to do some fun, pretty things to make it still feel old world and a lot of fun. Then I have just an old wagon right here. It's just one of those fun, what are they called? This type of wagon. <laughs> you know, and I'm going to use it kind of like a coffee table. So I have a lot here to show you. I have stuff set up to the side so that I can bring it in and show you step by step how you can create a nice little area here that would be comfortable to sit in. On each end of the benches, I have a planter. And well, it's already the end of July. I'm not planting any flowers in it and that's okay. I could use fake ones and that would be all right also. But I decided to think outside of the box and I'm gonna show you what I did. So let me grab the pieces here. And here it is, glass. I'm going to put the glass on top of the urns that I have to make end tables. I don't know. I think they might be nice. Just set them there. And you can, if somebody's sitting there, they can set a drink on it. I don't know if you can see my urn tables very well. I'll have to show you up close after a bit. And then another glass. And it's just gonna go simply on my tables here. And they make for an out of the box, interesting way, besides just putting flowers in it. Why not? It's worth a try. I have other things. So I will go get it in just a moment. What I did was at Walmart, now they're out of their outdoor patio furniture, or cushions. They had hardly any. They had a couple of red things that was totally wrong. It wouldn't fit here. So I actually went into the kitchen area. Now, if you do this, you have to remember to bring them in. Do not leave them out because they are not weather resistant but I just thought they would look very pretty and more comfortable than just the wood seats to put them on here and I think they're very pretty they just they kind of have a, just a nice earthy color a nice earthy feel and they bring a little more to the to the bench than just a hard bench. It's much more inviting to sit on. I think that already made a difference in inviting you to sit down. Then I also bought just for a pop of color two red pillows, and you just position them on. Of course, you tear off the tags, and I didn't get to doing it. These are from Walmart, $5 pillows. Each one of these were all $5 each at Walmart. And you just kind of put them in. And there is a spot of color. I think the benches already look inviting. You could sit down and put a, a glass of whatever you're drinking on each little end table there, or you can probably sit them, one on each of the grottos here, as well as I'm going to make the coffee table special. Well, let me get my other stuff. I'm going to now decorate this. I have everything sitting off to the side so I can get to it, but it takes me off camera. I apologize for that, but I have to have some place to put it so I can show you. So I'll be right back with the other things. Okay. 
this is interesting. <laughs> I don't know what you would even call this. It's just something I found at a thrift store and it was, oh, beigey color and stuff. It was just the wrong shades, but I like the interest of it. And I just painted it this brown shades to go with the themes that I like to do. And so I'm just gonna put it right inside of this archway, which by the way, I got this archway at a local concrete store that sells statues and benches and all the uh, fountains and all that, but it was cracked and broke right here. They had the piece there, but it was broken. So they sold this to me for like 80% off. I don't remember what I paid for it because I bought it a few years ago, but it was like $15 or something. And this thing is heavy. You can't lift it. It takes a good man strength. I don't have it. So I used to have it set up in a different place in the yard. And then we got chickens, which kind of lost our seating area that we used to have. And so I created a new one. So I had this, this table, which I spray painted the legs black and I put on a metal artwork that I found at the thrift store as well. And then I just put tile on top and made it all blend. So I didn't pay a whole lot for this either at the thrift store, but I don't remember what, and the price is gone. But I made it work. So then I have just some greenery, simple artificial greenery. And I'm gonna put them just nestled in like this in front of this. And it just gives it a spot of life. I think it looks very pretty. And that brings something to it. And then these guys, I think they are so cute. I've had them for years and they've been outside through every weather imaginable. They're a little spotty and dirty that didn't want to come clean but it's like a little bird feeder, or you could put water in it for a bird, I suppose. But I think it would just look pretty just sitting right here with the little greenery behind them. Isn't that just sweet? I will show up close up when I get done with it. And then I have, I got these at Walmart also, and they are just your citronella candles. Um, and they smell like citronella, but they're pretty, they're red. Thought maybe they could go one on each side, right here, and then you could light those when you are having a uh, party or just sitting out here in the evening, just relaxing. Brings in a little bit more of the red, which is a nice color choice, and it would just be pretty sitting in here. Plus, it makes the mosquitoes help go away. Now, I'm gonna start on my makeshift wagon coffee table. Okay. I now have a um, lantern. And I'm just gonna place it inside my table here. And I have these dollar store grapes. Let me get everything. I also have a dollar store candle. Now you don't want to leave this out in the sun. It's plastic, but this side can get a lot of sun and it might melt it. So you don't want to leave it out, but you bring it out for a nice party and it would be very nice. And I just have a simple plastic cup. And I'm gonna put it in and put this on top of it. And then I have an assortment of grapes. I'm really into grapes. And these ones right here, I found at Hobby Lobby's clearance. They were $2.38, and I think I got them for like 60 cents a piece. They had a markdown so cheap. And I think, well, I will just wrap it around. Well, take that out for a second. Wrap it around the cup. So you're helping to hide the cup that is in here, because you don't want to see that cup. Then again, I have the dollar store grapes right here, and I'm gonna put them in and around it in spots to hopefully bring out a touch of color and interest. 
in here and I'll put it back in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing and my hair is not in the way. I didn't think about my hair maybe being a possible problem. But then you can have that nice and it looks very pretty, I think. The sun is shining on my tray, and boy, is it hot. I was going to show it to you a little bit closer up, but I can't hardly stand to hold it. It was so hot. <laughs> I have a metal tray, like a serving tray. Maybe now it's cooled down just ever so slightly. <laughs> As you can see, it's still really hot. It's just one of those. I don't know if I got this one from the Dollar Tree. It seems like this one might be a little bit bigger. It might have been somebody brought it in a party tray with some good at food on it or something. But I'm putting it down inside of there. And on there, I'm just simply having a couple of glasses of wine that you can use. And again, I like grapes because to me they just feel Italian. <laughs> and you just kind of place some grapes in there, different colored ones. And grab your favorite bottle of wine or or non-alcoholic wine if you wish and just put them all in here oh dear this there we go and now we have a nice little sitting area that creates a comfort zone for everyone to sit at and i just wanted to show you how just just a few dollars i didn't really spend a lot the wine glasses i already have but you can get them at the dollar tree the bottle of wine you know 12 13 15 dollars depending on what your taste is the lantern I did buy it at the thrift store. I think I paid like $3.99, $4.99 for it. And the grapes are from the Dollar Tree. The candles from the Dollar Tree. Now the, the wagon we've had forever, so you might want to scour, if you really like the idea of a wagon, scour around antique stores or maybe garage sales, thrift stores, maybe you'll find one. Or maybe you can find one of the newer makeover looking ones that modern, but it's the, what are they? The, the red wagon flyer or something. I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> but get yourself whatever cushions. Choose whatever color you personally really like. And I think it's just really sweet to have this nice little setting here. It says, sit down and enjoy me. And I don't think it's overly done. You could put flowers in your planter or use a glass top and have it as in table. I think it looks very pretty. Now I'm going to bring the camera around and show you up close some of the things that I have done. But I'll let you see from here the look that it created. It's a very nice sitting area. Inviting, I really do believe. Pardon the shaking. And you can see the glass top. I'm holding my camera in an odd angle for me, so I'm sorry that it makes it unusual to see it. <laughs> I'm used to holding the camera outward, and when you're filming by yourself, you have to reverse it so you can see what you're doing. I don't think it works very well for me to film this way. <laughs> Not very good at it. But I think the greenery looks very pretty. And then on the wall, I have sconces that my husband screwed onto the wall for me so I could add it, and I found those vertigray pots. And then at night, I have just a rope light across there, which will also, turning that on, will also put on lights. But see how you can see the crack along here. It just 
but we just glued it on and to me it just adds to the antiquity of everything. But I hope I inspired you to find a way to just create something simple out of not a whole lot. The cushions were $30, and then you have the pillows that made it $40. And then these are things that I bought at thrift stores. It's inexpensive, and it really is inviting. So thank you for watching my channel. I'm going to try to do a few more vignettes and things like this. If you like the idea of me doing this, please comment below and let me know if you would like to see more little short videos of me just putting together things like this. And if you do like it, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so that when I do do these, you will get notified when I come to the YouTube channel for just for you. I love doing this. It's, decorating is a passion of mine. I truly do love it. It's getting really hot out here. It's supposed to be close to 90. Anyway, I just want to say thank you and God bless you all. And take care and happy decorating. Find places in your home to make it special for not a whole lot of money. You take care now and God bless.